All right, guys, we've got a great piece here. This is a cocktail. It was originally a dedicated millipede cocktail, Atari millipede, but I've kind of upgraded it to, there's a kit out there that if you take an original millipede board, which this has, and you, um, you do like a add-on where you, it's a couple of little mini boards that you plug in where the processor goes and where some of the ROMs go. It upgrades it or changes it so that it'll play millipede or centipede, and it's not like some hacked multi. It's a, it's actually running on original hardware, so it's running perfectly exactly the way it should be from Atari. So this plays millipede and centipede, and I put a centipede top glass, so it's got a millipede control panel and a centipede top glass, just kind of furthering the idea that this is both games. Also, I, I like the... Um, the bigger trackball feel, whereas Centipede came with that little tiny trackball. This has the medium-sized trackball, and I rebuilt both of these trackballs, by the way. Um, bearings are perfect, and the rollers are perfect, and the um, they just they both they both run really smooth and flawlessly. Um, let's see, what else did I do? I think that might be it. So all you do to change games, it's on free play. So right now if you hit start, it's going to start a millipede game. Millipede, by the way, is much harder than centipede. So master centipede first and then uh, come back and try to, try to master millipede. Then if you want to change games, you just hit the one player and two player start buttons at the same time and it swaps over to centipede. So, and you can see it's just, it's identical to the way it should be, because it is running on original Atari hardware. This has got the original monitor, original power supply, original everything, um, other than just that one little kit with some additional ROMs. It's even running with the original processor. You, they, the kit has you use the original processor that came with the game. So, um... I can show you inside here. It's nice and clean inside. It's still got the millipede uh, like dip switch setting. Although with this board, you actually have on-screen setting for all the options. It's kind of cool. See, it lets you just step through all these different settings. Really well done. Whoever made this kit was quite, uh, quite brilliant. So, Cabinet's nice and clean inside, no water damage, the legs... Oh yeah, I should mention this. This, um, I mean, I suppose only a newbie wouldn't know this, but there's probably a lot of newbies watching this. These Atari cocktails were really nice because you could adjust the height of them. I, I chose to adjust this to the tallest height just because you don't see it in this, in this uh, height very often, and it's actually kind of nice to have it at this height especially if you're going to use it like in a barcade where people are just going to be standing around they can set their drinks on it or if you want to have it at a sit down height you just remove these two uh, allen bolts on each side and um, slide it slide the legs down it's actually pretty easy to do even by yourself what you do is you just tip the thing on its side to do it and then it's real easy to do just with a single person um, but yeah, I was just going to say these legs are in really good shape. Sometimes they're all rusted up and just not looking nice. These, these look great. Uh, I don't know. Team molding's in good shape all around. I did not rebuild the monitor just because it's got a perfect picture. So I didn't, didn't do it. Uh, does it have the... Where does the money go on this thing? Oh yeah, I think the to get the money out, what do you do? Where's the coin door for this? Coins drop down in there. Oh, okay, yeah. Wait. Where's the coin insert for this game? Okay. 
somebody's modified this to remove the coin. <laughs> I never noticed that before. I'm completely baffled here. They did such a professional job of it, you can't even tell. Wow. Let's see what that word is. Huh. Uh, okay. Well, this has to be on free play because, well, either that or you're going to have to cut a notch here and put a coin door back in it. There is no coin door for this. So, yeah, if you, you're you going to have to put this either in a free play arcade or in your basement or whatnot. You can't operate this in a coin, coin environment because there's no way to uh, take coins. Yeah, that was what was baffling me because normally there'd be a metal coin box down here that you pull out and it's like, well, where is it? Okay. Um, so, free play only. Millipede. But luckily, most of the arcades out there these days are free play arcades, so hopefully that doesn't hinder you in your pursuits. If so, just... Uh, know that you're going to need to use a jigsaw and cut an opening and put a coin door there. Um, we got plenty of coin doors laying around here. I've got shelves and shelves of them. So it shouldn't be a problem if you need one. But uh, there you go. Nice millipede slash centipede, whichever you prefer. And, and I think you can, oh yeah, you can also set it so that it starts up with millipede or starts up with centipede so if you want to just and you may even be able to disable one of the games if you just want it to always play millipede or always play centipede i think you can do that but then again only if people know that pressing both these button switches it is it ever going to change so all right i think i've blabbed enough thanks